hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i'm going to show you that next remaining uh, view models to design so online uh, examination system dot view models we have a question answer view models and uh, you know that uh, some models are there already so question answers we have a question answer view model in which we have uh, some uh, properties like uh, there is so first of all uh, add some notations from the other uh, class and add at here in the question answer view model so required and display name is uh, mandatory in exams id you have to display only exam and uh, remove the exams from the um, question uh, answer view model only display the exams uh, in, uh, when you display the exam id and the questions also uh, required and uh, answers we have to answer and option one option two option three and option four both are required and the display name uh, will be changed so there is option one uh, you you have to take some uh, gap between the option and the one okay so the option two is similarly similarly option three and option four okay so these are the properties uh, with the annotations that is required field validations and as well as uh, the display name properties so uh, in the question answer view model we have some list of question answer view model so add a question answer uh, list of view model Similarly, uh, question answer view model, we have a I enumerable of type that is exam. So exam list, you can say. So that model will be used at here. So I enumerable of exams and uh, exams list like that. Okay, uh, the next property, uh, I'm going to add it. Uh, that is the total count. And that property uh, I have to use in all other remaining uh, classes like user view model and student view model also. So and the next property is selected answer uh, which one is selected actually. So that is that the type of integer and uh, also you have to take uh, two uh, things in the uh, question answer view model that is the uh, constructor the uh, first constructor take uh, as a parameter in the model and uh, <coughs> sorry parameter as a model and uh, that model uh, value will be passed into the view models so id exams id option one option two option three option four and similarly with the answer and the questions also so question model dot question and uh, if the question is uh, null then uh, will pass to the empty value Similarly, option one equals to model dot option one. So uh, similarly, option one, option two, option three, and option four, uh, you have to mention in the uh, uh, view model constructor, and the, that that value will be passed from the models to the view model also. And answer you have to take a model dot answer and uh, question is already there so these are uh, the properties you have to assign uh, from the models uh, value and the another thing you have to add it that is the convert view model method that is already discussed in the previous videos uh, question answer view model vm and that vm uh, value passed to the models that is the vice versa you have to take it at, at, at here okay so uh, lots of remaining uh, lots of uh, view models are actually uh, remaining in this project because that project is actually large and uh, properly designed uh, according to the architectures so uh, you have to do this according to the architectures so vm.exams id vm.questions vm.question1 option 2 option 3 and option 4 and similarly remove from the semicolons and uh, use comma uh, and return the question answers uh, model okay 
that's pretty simple and use semicolon net here so uh, add a new class that is the uh, group view model so in the group view model uh, first of all uh, make it public and after that uh, add some properties from the group uh, class uh, that is picked from uh, model uh, data access layer uh, groups is there so just click on it groups and id name description user id and users there so just copy that and paste it here you know that in the view model we have uh, used only the um, users id is only there so name description user id is there and uh, remaining two properties and three properties sorry is removed so display is name equals to uh, name equals to name simple that is the group name you can say and only uh, only that property uh, to set in, as a required there is no need to uh, required for the description actually but you have if you have if you want to take it as a required then you then you have to set it okay so uh, also the remaining properties is removed from there and add some other properties like uh, list of groups a uh, group view model and uh, group list the name is group list and uh, that is the another user id is there so the last property uh, you have to add it in the uh, table that is in the group view model that is total count and uh, just remove the uh, two properties from the your group view model similarly in the other video tutorials you have to add a constructor in this uh, class that is group view model and uh, similarly uh, previous videos you have to add a model as a parameter and model values will be passed into the group uh, view models so id a uh, name descriptions and user id there are the four uh, actually uh, fields in the uh, in the table so uh, the model id value will be passed to the uh, view model similarly model name model description and user id okay so these are uh, these are the property in the group view model okay so just copy that and um, that property will be used in the convert view uh, view, uh, view model methods so uh, the convert view model uh, act sorry convert uh, view model convert group view model will returns a uh, list of uh, groups actually a uh, group model and in which you can take a view model as a parameter and uh, after that you have to assign uh, view model values into the models so, so that uh, so that is the vice versa you can say so a uh, remaining uh, view models is also there so one by one i will discuss all these uh, view models because that all are needed if you want to design ui on the basis of view model then i will discuss on it please comment it if you want to design at this time otherwise i will uh, similarly uh, according to my pattern i will uh, i have to design first view model and then after uh, design the services also and after that we have to design the web layer and the you can say the presentation layer so uh, the next one is the exam view model so make it first first of all public add some properties uh, with the validation controls uh, or you can say that data notations as well as in the uh, similar uh, previous videos you have to see in already and uh, also you have to take as a um, as a uh, also you have to take constructor as as a parameter model and uh, add a convert view model method and uh, on that uh, method you have to take view model as a parameter so 
just you have to convert view model values to the model and model values to the view model so exam view model is uh, have some properties like id and name uh, actually exam view model have some uh, have a title but in the display you have to uh, use exam name so description start date time and groups id is also there groups id is related to the class actually class is not a c sharp class it's a student class so groups id is there so uh, you know that uh, in uh, as a keyword of class i will not use the name of the uh, keyword uh, for the class purpose so use a groups okay so exam view model exams model um, exams view model i mean to say that that is the constructor with the parameter model uh, exams and uh, similarly you have to take a uh, convert view model for uh, converting model values to the view model and view model values to the model so uh, remaining view models are also uh, already also there but uh, i will start in the next videos uh, i will start the next layer that is the service layer where i will design repositories and the interfaces and uh, i will pick all these view models from that uh, services and uh, after that we have to design a ui layer that is the presentation layer you can say so all these things are the similar uh, in remaining uh, videos because uh, here we have only the constructor and the one method that is the convert view model and uh, some properties uh, that are using in the view models because according to the separation of concerns uh, all these uh, project models are separate individually so uh, here i'm using uh, view models so that view model uh, project is actually convert uh, model values to the view model and view model values to the model so there is not dependent to the ui layers not dependent to the uh, 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 representation uh, services layer and not dependent to the data access layer so if we any changes in the data access layer then there is no effect on the services layer so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos and must to add a total count because uh, any other uh, if you want to any other things if you want to add it must to comment it so i will uh, uh, add in this uh, project thank you very much for watching